eventually our host, Richard State Jr. Yeah, finally, Mike Vincent. 
He's man enough to admit it. Are you man and woman enough to admit that you survived Friday? <laughs> Maybe some of you didn't survive Friday. And that's okay too. Because all of you can't fit on the mothership. We blast out of this berg and start a new life for ourselves. Filled with love and music. All of you can't go. I know the entire band can't go. Sorry guys, tight list. I just looked at the list, guess who's out? Me, I didn't make it. I didn't make the cut, it was awkward. I already had Norton on the right after that. Oh shit, how supposed to be in there? He's gonna snap Tan his way to freedom. That one. <laughs> He's gonna swipe right his way to freedom. Yes, he is. How many of you people in this enormous house tonight, and I call it morning's night for a very ironic reason, because I have no sense of time. How many of you are my beautiful, luxurious, supple Friday people? <laughs> yes, you are. So cheaty and proud of you. Showing up to yourself, Ray. That's all so much fear. Just watch your language. I said cheaty. I know, it's amazing. <laughs> I saw a lot of fear here yesterday, Rob, but not the usual fear I experienced from the band. Different fear, palpable fear. Not, par not drug paranoia. Not, oh shit, we're just gonna yell at you fear. Yeah. Actual fear. Fear for you people because you didn't know what to expect. You, didn't, you needed a hand to hold. And what we did thematically was lean down with our crusty old hands and guide you up through the Friday, through the guests, through the guests. into the evening, into the bliss that is karaoke. We did that together. We did that as a unit. And you know what? What? I'm going to talk about elephant in the room. Do it. I think a lot of people had a good time. Yeah. Because they see a lot of empty seats. Yep. We haven't seen this in a while, Rich. A lot of people are hurt this morning. Listen, if Saturday's a full room, we haven't done our job. It's true. You're damn proud of us, Rich. I'm damn proud of us too, Robbie. We nailed it. It took 47 shows, but we got there. Yeah. We finally arrived. Mark of a good karaoke is nobody there on Saturday. That's exactly right. Including the actors. The only place where we failed is that we're here. That's true. <laughs> the first mark of a failure. Uh, Epic we, fail. We failed a lot before We that. showed up. Well, I'm talking about this kind of failure. Now the other failures we, we wallow in consistently. Listen, let's not go down that dark road. Let's talk about the bright road ahead. How many of you people? And honesty is important. How many of you people are my fresh-faced Saturday people? No, 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 no. We won't be phoning it in, Saturday people. This is how this works. I ask you a question, and you answer with a blood curdling scream. That's how it works, or I'll stop this car right now and wait for you to get your act together. And don't, don't push me, I'll do it. I've done it before. I've seen him do it. So I want to hear from your diaphragm with pride how many of you are Saturday people? Nice. I like that. Why do I push you? Why do I make you scream like that? Like a banshee? Because I need you here. Because the Friday people are here. Saturday people, you are playing catch up right now. And I believe in you. Not everybody does. Your parents, for example, they have concerns. Grounded, founded concerns. But that's not my fish to fry. My only concern is today, right now, this moment, bringing you up to speed with the Friday people. So Saturday people, you're jumping in with both feet. We're doing a big show. We're not building a crap sack here. This is supernatural, GD. I have to put a quarter in the swear jar in the band green room every time I curse, so. And I'm taxed, quite frankly. It's been a long year. Abbreviations go. They do? Yeah. Okay, that's, that's BS. Fuck it! You're MF and right, they do. We're gonna have a great trip this year with our change from our, tip, from our curse jar. Saturday people, so much is going on this weekend, I don't even know where to start, so I'm not gonna start, I'm just gonna stop. Why begin when you don't know where to end? That's what I said. Why do a job when you can just sit there and watch it not do itself? That's why I got fired, but that's a different story. The point is, 
We're here. We're together. We're on this journey. We're enjoying this time together. How many Saturday people are first timers? How many of you are new? And then how many Friday people are first timers? All together, how many of you are first timers? How many of you people are veterans? How many of you people are alive and excited to be here? That's how you start a show. Don't go anywhere. Don't go. Don't you dare, sir. Get back over there. We're doing a thing and you're a part of it. This man, let's have a moment for this man. Yeah. There would be no creation were it not for the business acumen and drive of Adam Malin and his partner, Gary Berman. This is Adam Malin. Hell of a guy, hell of a businessman, and a damn fine keyboardist. Ladies and gentlemen, sitting in with the band today and sitting in with the band tonight, the Saturday Night Special. Adam Bailey. There, there you go. <laughs> You're free to leave. He's going to give me such a talking to. There he goes, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's happening. You dreamt about this for months. You plan, you watch the videos online. Most of them suck. But they tell a story. A story of festivities going on without you there. A mayhem happening of late night soirees, if you will, love. You dreamt of this. You scrounged, you saved, and let's be honest with each other, you overspent. <laughs> and when your dad said this is your Christmas present, that doesn't mean you're not going to be disappointed when you wake up and see no boxes under the tree, because really, it's hard to unwrap an experience. But the point is, you're having it now. This is your Christmas present, and don't be a brat and ask for crap in December. It's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? This is it. The ship has sailed. This is your present. I'm actually talking to the band. This is all you got, guys. This is your Christmas bonus. I gave you five minutes of stage time. That's it. That's all you get. You damn right it's worth it. Because we're here. Some of us are finding our seats, which is awkward, or in the middle of my bed. Yeah, sure. I'm not leaving here with hearing. I'm leaving here with a great experience, but no hearing. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> that happens about every. 40 minutes. I think it may be the aliens trying to communicate with us. That or the sperm whale. It's something. It's something not the good. sperm whale and the aliens are having a cell phone conversation. No, we're getting transmissions of it, and it, and it hurts. It's something, uh, it's evil. It is evil and it's wrong. But you know what, Robbie? You know what else is evil and wrong? Not appreciating the moment we're sharing right now. That would be evil and wrong. That's true. Which is weird because the show is about evil and wrongs. So, it seems on the nose. How many of you are fired up to see JDM, J, and J. This weekend. I can't even say their name or I get to put a corner of the curse chart. I can't say anything that might be considered dirty. And I know how your people's minds work. And when you think of J, J, JDM, you think dirty thoughts, which makes their names curse words. And I can't say that. 
I don't want to get penalized. And penalized has the word penal in it, and I think I owe you a quarter. Is that hurting? Yeah. Yeah. Just on principle. Oops. Because I was thinking it, right? Yeah. Speaking of thinking dirty, let's meet the boys in the band, shall we? The guys who make up the hardest working indie band in Los Angeles. They're here in their hometown rocking your face off. Ladies and gentlemen, on the drums, Stephen Norton. On the bass guitar, so damn talented. Nothing this man can't play. Occasionally on the piano and hell the vocalist, Mr. Mike Borja. Another man of immense talent and fabulous facial hair. <laughs> Billy Moran on the guitar. Okay. And you know him, you love him. You see him all weekend by my side. My wife, Rob Benedict. We're like, we're like Johnny Cash and Jim Carter Cash. Uh, I've hyphenated the spade, by the way. It's Rob Benedict spade. Oh, that's sweet. The kids will be thrilled. <laughs> I'm talking about her own children. Where's your, I, I thought we were, is your no? Are you doing that bit? Why not? You have a, usually you do a, a thing where this is we. This is who it's come to. We're going to dust off, we're going to dust off this chestnut. Listen, I, <laughs> I think it's important for, uh, for Rob to show you some of his skills. Because Rob has a lot of skills. He's a man of many talents. And I know you know that he's, I know you know he's a, a fantastic singer and a, and a poetic songwriter. And I know you know that he plays the guitar. And I know you know that he's a fantastic actor, but did you also know that he is a, in the professional world, we call it a shakist. <laughs> he will now demonstrate for you the science of psychology. Bobby? Thank you. Now that is called the Gypsy Spell. I think he's catching the spell over himself. And now he's doing, now he's doing the snake turn. Oh, I love the snake. That's a good one. Uh, this is called the Wicked Room. <laughs> ah, now he's doing stereo. Yeah, this is this is hot. This is like the big long Santana solo. Guy. Oh, now he's doing the table side season. This is the table side season. Now he's putting it back together seamlessly. And now he's at that. Casey and that. Oh, let's look at that stage. Unbelievable. There's nothing this man can't do. He's a shake magician. Now he's playing the. But now he's doing this Tito Morente or whoever. Oh, look at Quinta. Oh no, it's he's a smoke signals. Uh, Jimmy Hendrix, Jimmy Hendrix, <laughs> Jimmy Hendrix is sacred. Oh my gosh, no, no Jimmy, no, oh, what's up, you're not in the shirt, you left us too soon. Brian Jones, why? Jimmy Stoplin, no, a whole era, oh, Robert, you're back. Did you see that break shake bit? Oh, I got it. Whoa. Good stuff, guys, thank you. Rock the history of shaking. You, nobody shakes better than you, my, my friend. Well, you know, last time that somebody ended with the Jimi Hendrix, it was actually Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. And it didn't go well. 1968. But it came, but it became uh, immortal. You know, he, li he lives on. So yeah. were you to die in a ball of fire on this stage, I know I would remember you, and uh, several people in the first five rows would too. <laughs> well, how could they forget? <laughs> that first of place. <laughs> <laughs> remember when the weeds went up in flames with the lights? They would say, remember we were at that show and the stage caught on fire and old What's-His-Face died. Yeah, it killed old What's-His-Name. <laughs> the guy from the... The guy who used to be the lead singer of Gil, Gil McKinney and the Swings. <laughs> <laughs> He's just biding his time. <laughs> Crafty Gil McKinney, petting his cat. Die, Rob. Die. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like... Zero, 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 zero. <laughs> He's like, do that, do that, do Hurry, He's like, this cat. He's like, this cat. Are you hungry? Is that his name? His name is Cat's cat. This cat's name is Zippity Bob. Speaking of Zippity Bob, our first guest. Yes, sir. Has nothing to do with Cat's name. But she's fantastic. She's talented. She's fun. And she's here for your Saturday morning pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring her to the stage. Please, big, warm Saturday welcome. Captain Newton! Of course. 
made more sense. A hell of a lot more sense. Yeah. Where would you go? Would you leave? 